Hello, David Oliva again, and today we're going over the questions for the film Eat, Drink, Man, Woman. Alright, so the first question here is, how are generational differences displayed through cooking? So, I saw this in the film through Old Man Chu, really. Um, he was a big part of it, where whenever he was cooking, it was kind of uh more meticulous he knew what he was doing it wasn't very precise all the time and if he messed up something he could make it into something else uh and then the difference was when he was having dinner with his daughters uh he had to get called in to a this huge restaurant that was having a wedding service and they had to feed all the people they had messed up cooking the shark tail and they they had no idea what to do they called him in right when he got there he just he looked at the food thought of something real quick found the answer cooked a whole new dish uh it's that it's that more thinking mind that he has at an older age and more experience with cooking uh that allowed him to do that as well so next up is how does religion intersect with food so uh choose uh, second oldest or middle child uh, is the religious one of the trio of daughters that he has. And whenever they have food, she is there, you know, praying, saying grace before uh, she eats. And later when she has her, uh, she finds her soon be husband, uh, she then converts him to Christianity and involves him with that as well. So that, that's definitely a mixture of religion with the food that she particularly has. Uh, next is, what is the film saying about modern society and how food moves around it? So I saw this through the youngest daughter. Uh, she is a fast food worker at Wendy's. And while everyone, well, in the beginning of the film, they showed uh, their father cooking their Sunday dinner. Uh, you could see her working at Wendy's and people are just coming in and out of line, in and out of line. I want this, that, that, that's it. They're working and they're going through their day and food is kind of this inconvenience for them where they have to quickly get stop by and get it that's why there's such a long line there uh, people need to get in and out real fast to, to get somewhere else so it's not really a main focus point in life it's more of a hazard that they have to basically get throughout their day to survive uh, next up is in what ways do gender roles tie into the location of the kitchen so I find this question a bit interesting, uh, at least worded, because I kind of took this two ways. With gender roles, it was mostly like the man, the father, who's the one cooking and the one that's being inside the kitchen as that location. But I also took this as where the kitchen is located in the home, because I found that throughout the film that it was different. Uh, when the father was cooking, it was he was cooking outside, he was cooking kind of in like a more secluded area from where the dining room is so it was kind of like a disconnect where he was having his own moment because it was more special to him in some type of way I mean he was a chef his whole life but I want to I kind of connected that to his to his gender being a man and having his own little space um and with the with the flip-flop with gender um when I saw the women mostly her his oldest daughter uh when she was cooking for her like on and off boyfriend at the time was off um she was cooking she cooked something real quick for him when they got home because she was excited about a job offer she got and when she cooked it was the kitchen was right here and right next to it was the dining room it was kind of like a oh i'm just gonna cook just for the sake of feeding other people not for the sake of enjoying myself cooking if that makes sense it was more of a necessity than a pleasure but it, it was still a pleasure because she got that job or opportunity, but later did not take it. Uh, lastly, is discuss one dish mentioned in the film and its importance to the narrative. So I actually took this uh, to the first food that we actually get uh, to see eaten in the film, which is when the father, Chu, and all his three daughters are there eating. Uh, this is before he gets called into that restaurant that he has to help. Um, he makes this ramen bowl. He makes a whole bunch of different things, but this ramen bowl that he had had ham in it. 
And it was very special or specific and important to this narrative because uh, the oldest daughter ate it first and she had a look on her face. And the father was very perplexed by her look, um, by this ham that she had eaten, and she said it was oversmoked. And this is the first mention of how the father is losing his sense of taste and is getting worse and worse with his cooking because every so often when you cook, you should you taste your food, taste your food to make sure it tastes good. But since he's losing that sense, it is declining with his food taste and that is shown throughout the whole movie to where he loses his taste. But as we see in the final scene, uh, his daughter cooks food, which is very immaculate uh, to everyone. And uh, he eats it, and he's he's almost brought to tears because he looks at his daughter and says, I can taste again. I can taste it. So it's very important to the narrative because it shows it's the first mention of that decline, but also that slight rise at the end where there's still hope for him, and his daughter is is, is that beacon of hope for him. So yeah, that's the end of my questions, and see everyone next week.